Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're gonna to be trying out a new tool on the plasma table. First note, this is not hypertherm recommended or uh, approved. So you're using this at your own risk, you could void your warranty. I just wanna let you guys know that right off front. But what we're gonna be using is the Easy Scribe. I don't know if the camera's on, I wanna pick that up. The Easy Scribe. This is a scribing tool that you put right into your torch, machine torch or anything. It has to be a 45 XP, uh, uh, the new Dyna torches, uh, all newer brands, anything older will not work. Um, and I'm gonna show you how this guy works. It has a diamond coated tip. I wouldn't say it's a diamond tip, but it's coated. Um, it will last for a long distance. Uh, I will have the link to where you can buy this down below. It is through a regular CNC form. Um, paid through PayPal. I had it shipped to me within a week from Canada, so I got it pretty quick. But let's go ahead, uh, do a little overview of how this guy works, and uh, we're gonna do a cool little test cut of my company's logo. So uh, let's jump right into it. First things first, before we go in and actually use this, I have a couple questions I'm going to answer if you guys have them that might be right off the top. First, you have to disable your torch height controller. I do not have a torch height controller on my machine, so that is not a problem for me, but if you do have a torch height controller, you need to disable it. Also, I run a low profile 15 degree torch. Um, I do not run a machining torch because I didn't have the funds at the time when I started this project. But it will work with hand torches if you have one. or a machine torch. And the other thing you want to know is you want to make sure your rig is set up very well in type because how fine point this is, it will show all your slop or your backlash you might have in your machine. The other thing is if your machine has a feedback to tell the system that it did fire okay, and if it doesn't fire okay, it'll stop the machine. You need to somehow disable that jump it out or whatnot. Um, I do not have that setting on my plasma table either, so I do not have to worry about that. But anything that tells your plasma cutter that it's okay running amperage or anything, you have to disable it. So that way your system can run without it. Because all this does is scribe. Your machine is not even on other than your accesses. So one thing everyone wants to know is how this actually goes together. So this is my normal setup with some fine cut consumables. These are actually used, so normal. You got your... Uh, Retaining cap, shield, fine cut consumables, electrode, and then swirl ring. So how your setup normally sits, your configuration may differ. But when you use the Easy Scribe, all you need is the uh, retaining cap, the Easy Scribe, and once you get it in there, and then it holds itself in there actually solid so that shoulder holds it right here. And then technically you're supposed to have a shield that covers this, but my fine cut shield isn't big enough. You're supposed to have a um, normal shield that you use on a machining torch. Since I'm using a hand cut consumable, well, I don't have one available to me right now, but I could go ahead and order one. So let's go ahead and get this all installed on the machine and inscribe my business logo on this plate. Alrighty guys, I am not doing this exactly precise apparently. Um, I went to go square out my sheet um, and that's not square, so that's gonna make it a little off. And the other thing is, the scribe is gonna put resistance on your sheet. So unlike plasma cutting where you don't have to normally hold down a piece, I have set a extra piece of steel down here with two anchor weights, and that is clamped to my plate that I'm actually etching on. So uh, when etching, you're gonna need like a vise or some way to hold the material so it doesn't move. And the point on the scribe I have set up as point like zero, zero, five, so five thousand, or five thou wide of an arc, um, but I have it set up with no offset, zero, and at 150 inches a minute. Manufacturer says between 100 to 100, or 200 inches a minute. The slower you go, the deeper the scribe mark, and the better clarity, and then all again, it comes down to how tolerant your machine is. This is the first time I'm doing it, so this is one shot, one shot only, so you'll see all the mistakes. So let's go ahead and get this etching or scribing.
I got those cut and I learned something different. Um, apparently the Easy Scribe rips off paint because paint doesn't bond well to steel. So I guess I'm gonna have to get something powder coated if I'm going to etch it, which powder coating is going to be done soon or eventually I'll be uh, having a friend that does it for me. But I don't think it turned out too bad. Of course, as it being a scribe mark, it's hard to pick up, especially since I used a metallic paint. Um, but it turned out not too bad. Um, the paint did sit for about five days. So I painted it earlier in the week. And uh, so I thought maybe the paint uh, wasn't cured enough, but five days of curing um, is just the poor buy paint to steel, so it just pulls it right off. And uh, as you can tell, I did a second uh, etching on a bare piece of steel, and you can see how much better that came out. Uh, the camera has a hard, hard time picking it up, so uh, it didn't turn out the best. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm definitely going to revisit this, maybe use more and more projects, but they say this scribe will last hundreds of feet. So far I haven't had a single problem of it uh, showing any dullness. Um, the one thing I did think might have been happening is it was getting paint under the etch when, uh, they, when I was etching the painted piece. So that's why you saw me wipe it off a couple times, but I don't think that was a hassle. Um, so, other than that, it turned out beautiful. On the painted one, I was running in it at 100 inches a minute. At the non-painted one, just bare metal, I was running at 150. Uh, by the time the table ramped up to speed, it was only getting around 100. And when it was on the paint, it was about up to 80, 75, 80 inches per minute. Still, that's going pretty quick, but it still, for my logo, took seven minutes to etch. And that's pure time that uh, Mac 3 says on the computer. But if you have any other questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to see anything else about this Easy Scribe, what you want me to scribe, try to do some different materials, maybe aluminum or stainless steel, let me know down in the comment section below, and I will happily be making another video. But till next time, I'll see you later, guys.